Beecher Stowe House. It was built in 1871. Uh, Harriet Beecher Stowe, she moved in here in 1873. She lived here from 1873 until her death in 1896. We do not have records of Stowe practicing seances in this house, but we do know that she did attend seances um, because she had so much loss in her life. There's been a few incidences uh, while the house uh, has been open for giving public tours where footsteps are heard. Um, when there's only a tour that would have been held in this room right here, um, people hear footsteps that are going upstairs. Uh, I believe there's activity going on inside the house. Um, I want to say, yeah, it's haunted. It's intelligent haunting in there. We get an EVP, which we were able to capture on the voice recorder that says, read my journal. Calvin Stowe felt a connection with the spiritual world um, when he was a child and all the way up through adulthood. Um, he saw an apparition of uh, his wife, Eliza Tyler Stowe, who passed away um, before he married Harriet. I've had experiences in the Harriet Beecher Stowe house uh, in the far parlor room, in the lower level, I would see an image of a lady in a thick burgundy dress, kind of like drapery curtains, thick. I would go to look at the face and the image would just disappear. This is not a, a spooky house where people jump out at you or anything like that. Whether you believe in the ghosts or not, the lives of the people that lived here are still in this house um, and we have that story to tell. We